We will get you up to date on Kyrie Irving, who remains out due to personal reasons, and now there is video circulating of him at a club celebrating his sister's birthday. General Manager Sean Marks put out this statement a couple of hours ago. And we're quoting, we are aware of a video on social media featuring Kyrie Irving at a family gathering. We are reviewing the circumstances with both Kyrie and the NBA in order to determine compliance with health and safety protocols. Kyrie remains away from the team due to personal reasons. A date of his return has yet to be finalized. In the meantime, we will continue to stay focused on our organizational goals. Kyrie will have the opportunity to address his absence when he he is ready to do so. So, Frank, so many questions, so yeah. many places to start. What is your reaction? Well, I think, number one, I think it's important for Sean Marks to come out with a statement because Steve Nash has been the one that's been asked all these questions about Kyrie Irving, and now it's above him. And really now with that video coming out, this is now in the NBA's hands. So at some point when the NBA looks into this, there's a possibility that Kyrie Irving could be fined and also he could face some possible suspension. But he also will have to be in quarantine perhaps for a while as well, depending because remember in that video, he's not wearing a mask. So he's violating COVID protocol for the NBA. Here would be my thing. Steve Nash spoke today. And he was asked about Kyrie Irving. Are you confident that he still wants to be here? That at some point he'll play? And Steve Nash said, sure, I do believe that. My question will be, when he gets back, how do we know for sure that he's all in and that he's going to be part of the program? Remember, Nancy, Kevin Durant came to Brooklyn with Kyrie Irving. He wanted to play with him. And right now, for, for Kevin Durant and the rest of the team, they need Kyrie Irving with them. That is his contract. He's supposed to be at work. It's a very, very confusing and troubling situation. Big time. And they need him to stay the course when he does Absolutely. return. Without Kyrie Sunday, the Nets lost to Oklahoma City after they held a 15-point edge early in the second quarter. And when he spoke to the media postgame, Steve Nash made it clear he was disappointed in Brooklyn's effort as the game progressed. Lack of focus gets them right back in the game. Third quarter, I mean, 66 points in the paint tonight, 72 points in the second half. It's just pride. You know, no matter what defense you're in, you got to sit down and guard someone. And we didn't guard tonight. You can get beat, you can have a hard time guarding someone, but I didn't, I didn't sense the pride. I didn't sense the competitive fire in the second half. No, I thought it was a lack of respect, and we just got to learn from this and get better. This is going to be a, a, a very unique season, and everyone's getting beat by everybody, and it's really important that we respect our opponents. Um, you know, we got up 15, and we played like we felt the game was over, and that's just got to, got to change. We got to learn from it. We got to toughen up and uh, show a little more pride. And I think really what Steve Nash is upset about is the idea that without Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, they had played so well, showed a lot of fight in that loss to Memphis, and he didn't see that same kind of fight. And when you have Kevin Durant, these are the kind of games you have to win. When you're the better opponent, you have a big lead like that at home. You have to defend. And I think it was smart because a, a new coach has to kind of pick his spots, know when to go after the team. And I thought it was smart after that game for Steve Nash to do that. We're just getting started. For all the latest now, we head on down to Barclays Center where our Michael Grady is standing by. And Michael, what is the latest from Barclays Center? On the night, Kyrie Irving will be missing his fourth straight game. Well, Nancy, the NBA today updated their health and safety protocols in relation to COVID-19. But even before these changes, the NBA was pretty strict and explicit on what players could and could not do. And so with that video surfacing yesterday of Kyrie Irving celebrating his sister's birthday, as you pointed out with Frank, no mask being worn, a number of people in the venue. It's something that the NBA is absolutely looking into. Earlier, Steve Nash was asked whether or not he's seen the video and his reaction to it. I didn't see it, but I think that um, Sean made a statement, and you know, for for my position, I, I'm I'm going to leave it at at, uh, at Sean and the organization's statement, and really focus on the game tonight. You know, we we got a, a great challenge tonight, and uh, I think that's going to going to need all of my focus and our team's focus. That's all in house, so we we keep that to ourselves, and we try to to figure out um, you know our our home front privately. This season is so challenging, so demanding. We, we got our hands full. Um, so 
Literally, it's 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 getting up and getting to work every day and pushing these guys to continue to grow and to come together and build a team. Um, so we're, we're just pushing these guys to be the best they can be and to, to understand clearly and simply what we're asking for and, and get the best out of them. So, you know, you, you just focus on, on the work ahead. And I saw what Katie said the other day that he's actually he's praying for the best for Kyrie. So I guess I'm just going to ask, are, are you sure Kyrie will be back this year or are you at least confident he will be? Uh, sure. I, you know, I like I said, like right now, uh, I got to focus on coaching this team and getting the best out of them. So I can't make any, you know, predictions or prognostications uh, about things that are outside of this building this evening. You know, we, we got our hands full with the nugs and, you know, we've had this is uh, five games and seven nights and we're in a place where we're really just trying to, you know, put our foundations in still. So uh, my hands are, are full there and, and that's really where I got to focus.